Hey everyone, welcome into another video. Today we're going to be discussing chatbots. As new streamers or even old streamers, chatbots bring a sort of new life to streams, be it little side games, funny eight ball questions, or even how big your PP might be. Chatbots bring a lot to offer streams to help keep chat occupied, uh, help the, the flow of the, the stream keep going, and to cause a little bit of chaos. We're going to show you the four most popular chatbots um, and some basic commands to help you starting your streaming journey. For those that are new, I stream on Twitch five days a week. I'm off Mondays and Thursdays. You can also find me on my other socials. All the links will be down below. If this video helps, please like and subscribe. Let's jump right into it. So the first chatbot we're going to talk about today is Streamlabs chatbot. Now the thing with Streamlabs chatbot is it might be the most popular one because Streamlabs itself is its own broadcasting software. So Streamlabs.com is basically a one-stop shop for everything you need kind of starting out in your streaming journey and it's just uh just makes everything so much simpler when we're talking about uh cloud bot or the streamlabs chatbot you want to go to streamlabs.com you want to click on your cloud bot and it has pretty much everything there you want to make sure if you want to use this bot there's a little tick at the top where you can take it on or off and of course you want it to be on you want to also make sure all your bots have the mod role so once you add the bot to your channel you want to make sure you go to your channel do slash mod and then at the bot that uh you're using at the time so that way it has mod privileges uh when a mod has the privileges of the bot mod privilege bot um they're able to post links they're able to post a lot more things uh that bypass your channel settings so you're definitely going to want that in case you're doing like song requests or, or GIF animation or anything like that. So make sure you mod your bots. Continuing on, uh, the CloudBot has a lot of good mod tools starting out, uh, help you with uh, caps protection in case you don't want people spamming caps in your, uh, caps in your chat, uh, symbol protection if someone's posting like 20 symbols or something like that, link protection, if you don't want people to be posting links in your chat. There's also a thing that helps permit uh, Something that most of these bots have is something that uh, will permit people to posting links. So exclamation mark permit will uh, allow that person to actually post links if you have link protection turned on. Next is word protection. Uh, it'll restrict words and things to, to, to stop people from saying specific things, hate comments, uh, racist things, all that stuff. So you wanna make sure you go in your preferences uh, for whatever bot you're using and make sure those are on. Um, there are some things that the Twitch side doesn't pick up because their Twitch does have its own little moderation tool. So this is a good little extra step to add to it. Uh, next is paragraph protection, uh, stops people from sending lengthy messages and then emote protection, people from spamming emotes. Uh, so that's the mod tools for the Streamlabs chatbot. Uh, go into the modules. They have fun little mini games here. You got slot mini game, eight ball mini game, uh, a media share, which is uh, you know YouTube link. Uh, a gambling mini game, a heist mini game. There's a lot of fun little mini games they have, just basic on the Streamlabs Cloud Bot. There is another version that you can download. It's like a desktop that connects straight to your stream. Uh, it offers a lot more, but that will be in our advanced video. This is just for new streamers or people starting out with these new bots. So we're gonna continue on with Streamlabs Chatbot. You go to your commands, here's your whole list of all your commands, uh, just a whole list. Some of the basic commands I like to use uh, when starting out is I kind of like have the, you know, like a welcome, uh, a welcome command. Uh, you're gonna want like your uptime command. You're gonna want a shout out command for, for people who come in, people you wanna shout out. Um, even a socials command would be really good when starting out too. Uh, so that way people know where to find you if you're on Twitter if you're on YouTube if you're on Twitch if you're on mixer You know wherever you, uh, a socials command would be really good uh, I have one where they're all kind of jumbled together But I have them separated by a slash mark so that when you uh, do it, they're all just not it's, it's just not crammed You know what I mean? It, it looks nice. It's lined out properly. It's, it's really straightforward and really good next you have timer commands which are set up specifically between intervals um, and line amounts. So uh, if X amount of time has passed, has X amount of lines. So that way you're not just stacking your uh, bot commands on top of each other. I've gone into a few streams where um, all I've seen is like bot commands 
it's like uh well, bitbot um just that's just a, a whole row of just a, a bitbot thing so you're, you're going to want to not only an interval but you're going to want a, a minimum line requirement so that way if new people coming into your chat they just don't see a, a whole row of bot messages or else it, sometimes it turns some people off just seeing a whole row of bot messages uh, next for Cloudbot is the quote section. I use a, a lot of quotes currently. We are at 109 quotes. The last one being, look at that little thing. Uh, I was playing Escape from Tarkov and, you know, little things. Uh, next up there, you know, for the Cloudbot, there's Q timer, loyalty points. Loyalty points we can get into uh, on another video. There's a lot to loyalty points. So we'll leave that for later on. Uh, there's a store people can buy things with the loyalty points. You have polls, you have betting, giveaway, user management, uh, importer, you know, a whole bunch of other things for Cloudbot. Uh, it's this is the main bot that I like to use just because I've been using it for so long. But we will be talking about other bots that I have seen that are just as good. The next bot we're going to be talking about is Moobot. Now, this is one that my community has brought to my attention that I didn't have in my chat for a while because. They just recently updated a whole lot to their to their end. Um, now, this might be the best bot when you start out as a new streamer, as it has a lot of those very basic commands you want when you first start off streaming, um, as you don't know the languages of every single bot. And the thing is with all these bots is they all have different variable commands. Now, when I talk about variables, I'm talking about your user, like your timer, your counter commands. Uh, those are what are called variables. Uh, and now when I'm talking about different variables is that some of them might have closed brackets. Some of them might have uh, less than or equal than or, you know, they might they all might have a number sign, a percentage sign. They all have different variable symbols when making commands that makes it really hard to remember which bot you're doing what with. When you're first starting out, it's a really big hassle making some commands. So it's really awesome that Moobot has a lot of those basic commands that you're going to need when you're first starting out, be it a shout out command or an uptime command. Um, they already have it. All you got to do is turn it on. That's it. The one thing with Moobot, though, is that they only offer 25 commands. So depending on how many commands you're making, um, you can opt in for their pro plan, which I believe is like five dollars a month. Um, and then that way you can get a few more. Uh, but starting out, Moobot is a really good starter bot, and that's probably the best place I would send people uh, when talking about uh, chatbots. The next one we're going to get into Nightbot. Now, Nightbot ha hasn't really updated their website in a while, but I do know of some really awesome things you can do with Nightbot. Uh, I know a friend who uh, has imported like JavaScript uh, commands into his nightbot and what he can do with the javascript is he can pull select uh responses for his commands from like a whole like a whole list it's it's really neat at the beginning of the video i talked about like a pp size command my friend mr dan wrote a javascript for it so you would go into chat you would do exclamation mark pp size and the bot would send you a random response telling you what your pp size was and it is absolutely hilarious, the responses. He has other JavaScript commands also, but that one uh, is really fun to do in his chat. The fourth chatbot we're gonna be talking about is the Stream Elements chatbot. Now, this might be another one of the most popular chatbots because Stream Elements not only does the chatbot, but they also have an overlay section uh, they have uh, a donating section. They have a lot of things that make it another one-stop shop for streamers when they're first starting out that kind of just helps you gather everything together. Um, when we dive into it, a lot of their default commands are also like the other ones. They have the eight ball, they have uh, commands, they have follow age, they have the, a leaderboard for the channel loyalty points. Uh, a lot of fun little things that they they have like most of the other bots have uh, a good thing also for a lot of these bot areas is they actually have a variable tab so when you're making a command with the variables uh, you're able to click on it and you're actually able to see what each individual one does 
uh, to help you make your commands. Now, when you're first starting out, uh, it could be quite a big hassle to know which bot has which variable, and it, it gets kind of tedious if you start mixing some of the bots together uh, because you're gonna want to make a command and all four or three of the bots you have in your chat all respond at the same time. Uh, it makes it extremely uh, annoying sometimes for some viewers when they're like, chat bot, stream elements, moo bot, everyone like responds at the same time with like a different message. It would be kind of crazy and kind of hectic. Coming back to stream elements, let's park that, head back over. As I said, it, it's basically another one-stop shop for a lot of streamers because it offers so much already as stream elements with the overlay and everything already in there that I believe it's the next, next to stream labs bot. Uh, the biggest one take that for what it's worth. I don't really use stream elements that much I use stream labs and Moobot. They just are a lot easier for me to navigate and know the variables uh, Because they're a little bit closer together the variable for stream elements is like a money sign Which is weird for me, I guess. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If it was please like subscribe down below and we have a lot more videos coming out in the future that I really want to help people with their streaming progress, uh, help help raise awareness of their streams, how to help people with their streams. Uh, so as I said before, please like, subscribe down below. We have more coming up. Thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day.